Red reflex is a very important part of the assessment that many of us may not be doing it routinely. If you are not doing it routinely, please start incorporating it. It only needs an ophthalmoscope and it's fairly simple to learn. So you keep the ophthalmoscope next to your eyes and look into the baby's eyes. This uh, doctor is holding the baby up, but you can also keep the baby on the crib or uh, request someone else. So you may need to separate the eyelids. When the baby is quiet, you can separate the eyelids and see the red reflex quite easily. So in a awake baby, again, be very gentle. Do the red reflex at the start before the baby. Because once a baby starts crying, the eyelids are uh, screwed in and you cannot really open it to see the red reflex well. Uh, if the baby doesn't open the eyes well, you can hold like this and rock the baby back and forth when they open slightly. As long as you're focused on the pupils, it's just a quick glance which tells you that the light pathway through the eyes to the choroid, which is the red pink color you see in the back, is normal. So the retina is transparent, so the choroid vessels will reflect through that and that's what we are seeing. And uh, this is a normal red reflex and you may have a paler red reflex or a very bright red reflex depending on the skin uh, complexion. The fairer skin races have a very bright red reflex and the pale skin ones or dark skin ones will have a pale fundus. Sometimes it's difficult to assess whether it is a pale fundus or whether it's a failed reflex. So you wait for the baby to move or you turn the baby to, side, to the side. You see the blood vessels streaking past then it's just a pale fundus. You also have uh, subconjunctival hemorrhage which is fairly common which is a source of anxiety for the parents uh, usually resolves within a few uh, days to weeks you don't need to routinely examine the eyes inside by the ophthalmoscope uh, and the ophthalmology review because uh, even if it's a very small retinal hemorrhage due to the delivery it usually resolves on its own but where you have a doubt about the red reflex you should always uh, review with the ophthalmologist who can do the slit lamp and other assessments to look for the reason for it.